Монголчуудын дунд нэг том үзэл байсан юм. Миний дээр малгай байдаг, малгайн дээр хөх тэнгэр байдаг аа гэж. Тэр энэ өөрөө Улаанбаатар хотын тухайн үеийн тийм барилга одоо хоёр дахь байшин барилгууд баригдахад энэ өөрөө түн тэр одоо тухайн үеийн тэр байшин барилгуудаа зөрчилдөг байсан байна л да. Мэнгсэн зөө хориод байна. Гэхдээ тэр Монголчууд өөрсдийн гэсэн байшин байдлыг гэж барьж гисэн байх. Тэр 1956 оноос 1967 оноос 2 3 дахь төлөвөө гараад ер нь хот бол энэ төлөвөөнүүд Улаан Баатар хот бол энэ хот Улаан Баатар хот бол ерөнхийдөө байшин байдлыг бол байшин байдлыг бол байшин байдлыг хийж байгаа. When I first came here 13 years ago, there would be cows walking along the main road, uh, horses. Um, I actually saw a couple of deer walking past the university one day. If I go to some of the places I lived in, say, three or four years ago, I can almost get lost because there are so many new buildings. The, 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 the change is, is just unbelievable. It's becoming a modern city in, in every aspect. I lived uh, in London for a total of eight years. I worked for a number of uh, public relations companies in, in the UK. I just saw many opportunities, which is why I returned to Mongolia in June 2010. Although you be there are only over a million people living, you still get that kind of feeling that you're living in a very young, rich, like populated country. You just get struck by it because it's so vibrant and young and full of energy. Having lived in Southeast Asia in most cities where it's impossible to walk around, Ulaanbaatar has wide sidewalks, so for me walking is very important. And then you have all these coffee shops where you can go and have a coffee and a hot chocolate and place to meet. And like most of Asian city, where you don't really have a center, a city center where people can just walk and, and go and have a, a hot chocolate or whatever. So this is something I really enjoy in Mombasa. The economic possibilities are tremendous in, in, in Mongolia. Clearly, uh, I think this is a country where people want to invest at the moment. But there are very few countries like this in the world. But Mongolia is sitting on a pot of natural resources. The economic rock of Mongolia is not just paper-based, it's grounded in its resources. The boom in the mining sector has created so many jobs. I'm amazed that just one sector has spawned so much other development. You could be doing many, many things. You could be doing art exhibitions, you could be doing quite cool stuff, street art, anything, you know. I think it's a great time for Mongolians to come back at this time and moment and do something that they truly want to do for, their, for the rest of their lives. You see the contrast mostly in the architecture of UB. You see bits of old Soviet architecture at the same time you see like towers and high-rise buildings everywhere and you see hotels like world standard hotels being built up uh, next to one of the oldest uh, monastery. I mean, if we look uh, at building, the quality standards are not yet there for, for many of the buildings. I think uh, too many people try to take too many shortcuts. Uh, so uh, I have entirely faith in all the old buildings. I have very little faith in the new building coming up. That's a personal opinion, but I'm an engineer. 
people do live in 300 square meter apartments, three floors, houses, uh, and other people live in a gear which is, I've never measured the area of a gear, <laughs> but it's, it's nowhere near 300 square meters. The city is like somewhere it's kind of unique, you know, because like, there's like a two different culture here in the city, two different civilization, right? Good this civilization, it still kind of represents the Mongolian way of nomadic life. And then the other part of the city, it represents the modern life. Well, somebody in Mongolia is really at the tipping point, it can go either way. Which way do you think it would go? A uh, better way. <laughs> A better way? Yeah. Now we're on the right direction. We're just starting. We're just at the, at the zero point now.